Dude, I didn't do anything. Stop. You gonna spit at me? No, I me. didn't. Look. Oh, hey. Hey. Yo, 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 bro. Fight, fight. Hey, there's a cop. There's a cop. Hey, come here. There's this guy, assault. There's a cop, bro. If you really enjoy scary looking dudes and Nissan Altimas uh, threatening me, don't forget to subscribe. Well, I can't guarantee more of that. Maybe next time it's like an old lady driving a Camry. But if you want me scared of strangers, uh, keep coming back. Making this video today for Bike Legal. Bike Legal is a bicycle accident attorney, and they want you to know about a new law passed in California that went into effect January 1st, which this guy doesn't know about, and I would have told him, except he just didn't seem like he was in the mood. Yo, yo. And I read an article that 40% of motorists now carry a weapon. I think it's important for cyclists to know uh, the bike laws, because a lot of times the police don't know them, and certainly the, the general public doesn't know them. A lot of folks think that, that the share the road signs are actually for us to share the road with the cars. So just to explain what happened, I was on Ventura Boulevard, which is a two lane road, plenty of room to pass. It was fairly empty. I was riding with my friend Michael Muni. It was his camera that filmed this. And this guy came up on us. He was definitely going too fast. He came up and had to brake. Um, and instead of just steering the car around us where he had ample room and there were no cars, he, he honked. You know, I don't do the middle finger anymore. I don't like to start stuff. Some people get very triggered by that. Uh, but you will get a ah, kind of gesture, you know? I did the nah. And he drove around and then proceeded to steer his car at me, putting like pinning me against the curb. And his window was open and he was screaming something. He was, he was already at like nine and a half before he caught us. And all I said calmly, and I've practiced this many times, I don't get emotional anymore. I was just like, hey man, the car is not a toy. You're gonna hurt someone driving like that. So we continue to ride and we round the next corner and he's standing in the middle of Ventura Boulevard, uh, ready to fight. Um, yo, 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 bro. I don't know what he's talking about. Nobody spit at him. I will also say, uh, I wish I had just, when we saw him coming, I wish we had just turned around. Just not worth it. Just make a U-turn. That brings us to the bicycle omnibus bill. Debated for a long time, finally passed and into effect January 1st. The first term of the bicycle omnibus bill, the one that we're very excited about, is it creates more room for cyclists. So in honor of, uh, of my new friend here, uh, I thought I would film the rest of this video on Ventura Boulevard. First, it creates a bigger margin of safety for cyclists. Now, you know the three foot rule. That still applies if you're on a narrow road, but if there's a road with, a, with another whole lane, you're supposed to merge in the other lane to make more room for me while you're passing. That's because there could be stuff in the bike lane, there could be cars parked, could be a pothole I have to dodge. More room is always better. Next, it eliminates the bicycle license requirement. Now, a lot of cities have a rule on the books that bicycles must be licensed. I have a million bicycles. I've been riding a million years. Uh, I've never had a license. I don't even really know what that means. This is kind of just a way that police can pull over cyclists and hassle them for no reason. So now cities can offer bicycle licensing, but they can't require it. The law expands access for e-bikes. Now e-bikes are like a weird complicated thing now because no one really knows what an e-bike is. Uh, I'll get emails as an influencer saying, hey, will you promote our new e-bike? Uh, it has 14 inches of shock and it goes up to 45 miles an hour. And I'm like, no, I won't endorse that and you should be arrested and that's not a bicycle, but they're figuring it out. So the class one and the class two e-bikes are now, these are the ones that they're speed restricted. Uh, they're perfectly safe. That's what I've got here on my state. Uh, those bikes you can now ride on the beach pass, uh, on the rails pass, the regular bike pass are all allowed on e-bikes. Certain cities, you can still make their rules on hiking trails, horse trails, stuff like that, so that you're not kind of like ripping your, your fast downhill mountain bike uh, up and around kids on their, on their field trips on the hiking trail. Next, it makes the pedestrian walk signals apply to bikes too. Now what goes on in major cities now is they do a new thing where the pedestrian cross signal goes before the green light at a lot of intersections. Now what that does is that gives pedestrians a chance to enter the intersection before cars think that they can make a right turn and slam into you. Uh, bikes are in this weird gray area where, you know, for me, I'm a vehicle, I can go 20, 30 miles an hour if I try hard, uh, but, you know, a kid riding to school should probably really be more on the sidewalk and treated more like a pedestrian. So this sort of covers that. Uh, for the kid, it lets them get into the intersection and cross as if someone on foot. Uh, for me, I get to claim my lane so I'm not kind of racing your Corvette for that limited space in the road. Now the crosswalk rule doesn't go into effect until January 1st, 2024. So if you have a bike accident, call Bike Legal. And if you have any other kinds of problems, you take it up with these guys. Big thanks to Bike Legal for helping me unpack this. 
Um, if you ever need representation for, for bicycle accidents, check out Bike Legal. They have people in California, Oregon, Nevada, Iowa, Idaho, New York, New Jersey. Did I get all the states? Hang on. Damn it, I forgot Utah. They do Utah. They have Utah. Thanks. See ya.